For more than a decade, vidIQ has helped millions of YouTubers of all shapes and sizes, of all topics and audiences, get more views and get more subscribers. Next up, TikTok. Can you remember any of the rap that you did? My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle. Sure. There are two reasons why I picked this tune. First of all, I do not have a choreographed bone in my body, but the dance moves on this one were really easy to do. Second of all, and far more importantly, this new app from vidIQ tells you all of the best music and sound that's trending on TikTok. You can research your favourite topics, locations, musical artists, even filter by the length of the audio. There are over 100 curated playlists that will show you not only what's the most popular, but what's trending up and down on TikTok. You can personalise the app so it only shows stuff that is relevant to you, and even better, yeah, you get notifications when there's a trending sound on TikTok so you can get ahead of the game. VidIQ for TikTok is now available on iOS and Android for free for a limited time only. So check it out with no strings attached. And if that wasn't enough, if you have our desktop extension installed, we've added handy engagement stats to TikTok for all of you data nerds out there. Yes, folks, this is the dawning of a new era where everybody has to learn new dance moves. This is mine building boxes. And to help you navigate this super short vertical video format, we've launched our brand new TikTok channel at vidIQ.talk. So make sure to give us a follow. And if you are completely fresh to the TikTok creative space, here are a couple of beginner tips to help you get started. Unlike YouTube, hashtags do play a pretty important role on TikTok, but that doesn't mean you should use them with a cavalier attitude. TikTok allows up to 300 characters in your caption, or what you and I might call a video description, and your hashtags will count towards that. So try to pick no more than five hashtags that best represent the niche your TikTok is geared towards. As for what type of hashtags, well, we recommend a combination of using both larger hashtags and smaller hashtags. And I'm not talking about character length. And what we mean by that is the number of hits for a hashtag, the threshold being over or under 100 million. And try to avoid very broad hashtags that are used all across TikTok. To find the top videos in a hashtag from the homepage of the TikTok app, search for the hashtag that you're interested in and then tap the filter button in the top right of the screen. Next, filter by this week and most liked, apply that filter and these will be the most popular TikToks for you to watch and do some research on. Now, if you want to get more views on your TikToks, here's an interesting little strategy. Try to avoid posting TikToks at the very peak of when your audience audience is online. Now I'm not saying that you should start posting your TikToks at 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning, but what you might want to do is post your TikToks at say 7 p.m. if the peak of your audience is online at 2 p.m. To discover when your viewers are on TikTok, from your profile page, tap the menu button in the top right, select creator tools, and then go to analytics. On this screen, swipe over to followers, and then scroll down to the bottom of the screen to see when your followers peak activity is. Now the first major milestone on TikTok is very similar to you. YouTube, a thousand followers. That will unlock two pretty big features on TikTok, the ability to go live and to put a link in your bio, which is critical for converting followers. However, what it won't unlock is monetization. That's a little bit of a sensitive TikTok subject, which I don't want to go into in this video. Now, just like YouTube, audience retention is critical on TikTok. And getting people to watch your TikTok more than once, just like YouTube Shorts, is a quick fire way to viral content. We've already talked about the art of looping a short form video with examples from Jake Fellman. But another way to loop a video is to essentially cut your sentence in half. How to upload HD videos. The first step is recording a video. Click next and scroll down to more options. Turn on the slider to allow high quality uploads. If you want to catch people's attention, then you should know how to upload HD videos. The ah, first... very interesting. This is Tucker, by the way, our TikTok host. And they've just shown you how to upload videos to TikTok in HD. Make me want to dribble, dribble, you know, riding in my fear, you really have to see it. Six feet two in a compact. No After stack. a thousand videos on YouTube education, it is clear that we all have a lot to learn about TikTok. And don't worry, folks, we're not going to be flooding this channel with non YouTube related stuff. That's why we've created a TikTok channel. What we've shown you today are some of the absolute basics of how to start on TikTok along with the app you need to get all of the trending music and sound that's going to give you a head start on the competition. So I'm going to give you a simple choice. If you want to start your TikTok journey, download our app right here. Or if your heart is set on YouTube, check out this video on how to go from zero to a million subscribers. Make your choice now.